Hello, and welcome to this review of Gibson Vineyards Madeira California wine. It's a Madeira style wine, not made in Madeira, Portugal, but uh, <coughs> California. Um, <coughs> I bought this at Dorgnax. There's a couple of other Gibson varieties which I'd like to try. I wasn't familiar with the brand, <coughs> and I was not able to find out really anything about it. There's no website for Gibson Vineyards of Sanger, California. Uh, one of the liquor stores or wine shops had a PDF sheet on it. It was just basically saying it's between 18 and 19 percent alcohol. It should pair well with some various foods. Um, they really didn't say too much about it, uh, honestly. Um, there's nothing in the back here. You know, some wine companies will give you food pairings, whatever. Madeira is sort of a dessert wine anyway. I mean, it is legally a dessert wine, but it's the sort of thing you would have with dessert. So, never had it. Uh, there's no videos, so this is the first video review for this Madeira style wine in the world. Oh, beautiful cap. <laughs> Very interesting aroma, by the way. Kind of caught me off guard. I was expecting something sort of run of the mill, and what I got was far from it. Okay, um, I'm going to pour the rest in this decanter, let that breathe a little bit. Uh, interesting aroma, uh, color, aroma yes, we'll get to the aroma. Interesting color, a uh, copper, clear, It's an olive green bottle. Okay. Some sort of bird, like a, uh, what do you call those New Guinea birds? The fancy tails, I don't know what kind of bird that is. Uh, don't know. Like I said, nothing about Gibson. There's also a Gibson winery in Australia, which is... totally unrelated to Gibson of California, from what I was able to tell. All right, so, oh yeah, it's more of a deep red in this crystal decanter. Usually where I put sherry, port, this type of thing. Now the aroma, this, this Madeira is so unlike the Taylor and the Palma sign. It is so incredible. Um, this is almost into the vermouth, the Gallo red vermouth, the Martini Rossi, it is, it makes me think it has botanicals added, okay? I'm getting a very funky, and we could say meaty aroma, meaty, like as if it has meat in it. Now, I don't know, I don't know, but I've been told that a man died of cold in the heat of the sun, you know? Um, or, let me rephrase that. I don't know, but I've been told in the heat of the sun a man died of cold, right? I don't like the aroma. It is strange, meaty, and it has odd botanical elements. This is very weird. I don't think it's gone off. I really don't. I just think it's a very strange thing that maybe you could cook some venison with or um, lamb. It's got an 
unusual meat marinade aroma. Um, this is one of the most bizarre aromas I've ever encountered. Well, the taste, I'm, I have a little bit of trepidation going into this flavor, but um, it's repellent, obviously. Honestly, it's repellent. The taste is... indescribable indescribable there is grape <laughs> somewhere grapes that were planted in the most exotic compost it's, I did, you know, the Martini and Rossi and the Gala Vermouth, those are made with botanic, botanicals and they're so um, strong and harsh and geared toward mixing that they're not standalone wine, okay? But yet, you can drink them as standalone wines. This, um, I think, as a marinade, it could work. On its own, it does not work. There's leather, pipe tobacco, like that red dirt in Mississippi after it rains, you can smell it. Some kind of skin, like I said leather, like a skin, like um, if you're cleaning redfish and you smell and somehow get the taste of the skin in, the mouth, in, in your mouth, maybe cod liver oil, The booziness, um, no. And there's no alcohol eggs, I swear, you would not think it's 18% alcohol. You may not think it's an alcoholic beverage at all. Did they pour, uh, did they pour meat marinade, you know, beef, it, it's like beef marinade, I say venison and pork, but it's like beef marinade poured in a wine bottle. I don't know, is this some kind of joke? Did somebody set me up? Um, the mouthfeel, Conan Pekillo, the mouthfeel is, um, it's like, uh, roofing nails in the mouth, it's, um, medium, light to medium, the finish is dry, this is a dry wine, it's not sweet, ugh. Ah, it's memorable, but um, oh, my eyes are watering. Um, It's making me drool. This is like three more days to Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Three more days to Halloween, Silver Shamrock. This is unbelievable. I can't, I can't, I can't drink it. I think it's undrinkable. It's, oh, whoa, ho. Oh. Do 
I ever get F's? Uh, yeah, but um, it's so rare. I, can, I can't believe it. I swear I can't believe it. Buyer beware, I'm not going to bring it back and say it tastes bad because they'll say other people like it. Who? Who likes it? I'm going to meet these people. Maybe the worst smelling product I've ever encountered. I swear to you. It's. <sighs> I can't drink it. I can't do it. Okay. Oh. Monstrous. Monstrously bad. <laughs> Profoundly bad. It is just. I can't. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. You ever drink a wine and made you get stuck in like a needle groove? I will drink this. I bet you that it's going to be good. I'll drink this. I bet you that's going to be good. This. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, I threw away $6. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Tiger. Bye, Tiger. Never get off the boat. Never get off the boat. No. 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 No, no, no.